Good morning, Roman. Wanted to give you a video update. This is Saturday morning. Uh, been here uh, six days, well, five days, five days working. So, uh, some of the things we found, we found a uh, rod up here in the stem and uh, we had to cut it out and fashion this piece uh, that uh, uh, will bolt in, will bolt in together. So, that's cool. We've that was a problem that uh, we've uh, we've uh, surmounted. Um, then we have uh, where this was broken out when uh, when the uh, lifting ring pulled out, and we're improving this now that we have better access. We're going to be putting in two new frames in here today. Um, I thought I'd mention. Uh, uh, let's see. Not all the wood is here yet. We have the plywood up here on the top uh, shelf of that rack, but uh, the white oak has uh, not yet made it. My supplies made it yesterday, well actually the uh, night before last sometime in the night. So the first access we had to the supplies that I sent a month ago or uh, was yesterday. Um, we uh, worked in a pouring rain and basically the water was uh, well, up on this side, it was up around our ankles. Uh, and then this side, uh, we put down these cobblestones, but they're really tough to walk on. And kind of slow the process of just getting around the boat, uh, slow that process down. As you, uh, oh, we've also replaced uh, some frames that were badly cracked. This one's gonna have to be replaced still, but we replaced some of the frames that were bad, badly cracked. This uh, frame, we replaced because it was cracked in the center. It wasn't doing anything. This frame, same story. Uh, cracked in the center, wasn't doing anything. Same thing on this one. Um, we also have to replace uh, a part of the keel. Uh, the uh, very back part of the keel, uh, where the, uh, it just broke in two, where the, good morning. It just broke in two where the, uh, um, where the strut had been mounted. So probably when when uh, something was hit by, uh, by, this, by the boat, uh, that may have broken it then, actually cracked it then. And then we also have uh, this part back here that's basically just crumbling in my, in my hands. So uh, we fashioned a new piece for the keel. Um, all these others, uh, this, this, this keel is, mahogany and all the others that i've dealt with were white oak so i sent enough white oak to make a new keel um we're gonna use this keel uh i may may ha i have to make a couple more repairs to the keel but um this is the the new piece that we're going to be putting on the keel that's where the planks land um so uh, and then the transom bow uh came out in three pieces it was also rotted pretty badly well very badly and we have to work on this chine where the hull sides and the hull bottom come together. We're going to cut the chine and uh, uh, sister, uh, not sister frame it, but uh, scarf joint it and put that in. So that's, uh, the bottom came off real easy and I said be warned, it's really slow after that. Uh, matter of fact, we have yet another problem that we have to address and that may be well, two other problems. You know, the bottom came off so easy because the fasteners were corroded and the heads just popped off. So the bottom just, you know, popped off basically. We took it off with wedges, had it off in half a day. We never done one that fast. Um, but uh, these fasteners that are left in here, uh, we have to, well, this one we're gonna replace this frame. So these fasteners in, the frame, in this frame, for example, that we intend to reuse, normally, <coughs> At home, we just take a pair of vice grips and put on here and spin these things out. Unfortunately, these guys are breaking off, you know, right below the surface. Well, there, there it is, right below the surface. And I'm going to have to core around these guys. Uh, and I ordered that tool from the shop last Monday. As soon as we got the bottom off, I realized we were going to need those and uh, overnighted them. And we're still tracking those guys down as well. By the way, the white oak, um, uh, we started tracking that down 
uh, when I got here and realized it wasn't here, we started tracking that down and it's supposed to arrive today. Um, this piece, there are intermediate ribs that use white oak and then this piece back here, the original, um, the original transom bow was white oak. So that's, uh, um, so bottom line is there's no way we can have it ready by Christmas because of these, uh, um, these problems. Oh, and the last problem was that, uh, what's the, all those other things we've overcome. We've walked around in, you know, ankle deep water and we've dealt with the heat and we've, you know, we've, we've, we've done really well. I know I sound discouraged, but we've done really, really well. But the, uh, with, with what, what conditions we've had. The, the other thing that's the most concerning is there's a bolt that goes right here that passes through um, this, this frame. And every bolt that we, and so this is just one case, every bolt that we touch uh, breaks. So, because they're corroded as well. So those I ordered on uh, Thursday and uh, ordered them overnighted, but chances are overnight just isn't overnight as it turns out. So um, I'm not sure when we can expect them, but uh, that's gonna be, before we can put the bottom on, we're going to have to, uh, it's not only these bolts here on the end, but it's these bolts where the keel bolts to the frame and also, we haven't drilled for these yet, but uh, uh, here's an example where there's a bolt that runs from here all the way through down to here. And every, every one of these bolts that we touch breaks. Um, we had uh, more, uh, uh, so I just can't, I we didn't anticipate that. I wouldn't have known what, uh, sizes to order until we got here anyway uh, and um, so here we are that's the insurmountable problem all the other stuff we've overcome but that problem in uh, with the bolts uh, uh, along with not being able to pour around these fasteners just yet uh, those problems uh, those two problems are what I would call insurmountable so um, at the uh, in in the in the time they're not insurmountable overall but they're insurmountable in today's time frame all right thanks man